Welcome back to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey. And in this video, we're talking about the, well, rumored Nintendo Direct for this month, April, right? There is a rumor out there, if you have not yet heard, that there will be an Indie World Showcase followed by a Nintendo Direct or a Nintendo Direct Mini in order for Nintendo to kind of announce the rest of the year. So this video, we'll talk about the possibility of that actually happening, where the rumor comes from, and... Well, I want to hear uh, from you as well to see what what can Nintendo have planned since there literally is nothing in April. So let's go ahead and get started. So if this is your first time hearing about this rumor, well, it came from this uh, leaker called, uh, I think it's NH or NPMPPH Brazil. And well, this leaker was the very first person who actually spoke about the Nintendo Switch to delay, therefore gaining some traction and some credibility. And then him basically letting us know that we were getting a Nintendo Indie World Showcase and a Nintendo Direct, one followed by the other. And so that's where it came from in a nutshell. And so right now we are as of today is April 18 or April, sorry, April 8th. I'm ahead of, ahead of myself a little bit, but it's April 8th, right? And it's, if Nintendo were to issue any type of presentation, then it would, I would say it would be this week and the following week, right? Or maybe towards the second and third week of, of April. So, so far, it is the 8th. It is a Monday. There has no signs of Nintendo issuing any type of basically announcement of a potential Nintendo um, either the Nintendo Indie World Showcase or the Nintendo Direct. But there are signs out there of games that have kind of leaked or maybe come out somehow that could point towards Nintendo having a presentation very, very soon. Now, the game that I'm talking about is Hollow Knight Silk Song. It's a game that we've been all been waiting for, for the, I think, for the past two years. And so, Hollow Knight Silk Song two major things happened one it was listed on the uh xbox game pass page with a wish uh list add-on right so you can actually go to the xbox if you have an xbox and add it to your wish list so it tells you when it's available and so that is the first clue the second clue is the game has officially been rated now when the game has been rated that means that the game is is is, is already available for sale it's uploaded to the systems and it just it's waiting a presentation or a release date um, in order to get out there. So Hollow Knight Soul Song is a big game. I think it's a pretty big game that it should warrant uh, some type of presentation on behalf of Nintendo if it's coming to Nintendo Switch, right? It, it was announced for Nintendo Switch, so we, we should expect Nintendo to talk about it. Now, with this game, I would say it qualifies for the, at least that indie world showcase if nintendo were to give us a presentation it could be an indie world we could get a lot of other games announced third party games of course not first party but at least another presentation that would warrant that so that at least we have that for us everything so far has been completed and muted besides the games that have already been announced which is paper mario thousand year door which is out next month we have uh, the Endless Ocean game also out next month. And a month later, in the month of June, we have the game for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD coming out on Nintendo Switch. But other than that, there is nothing else planned officially from Nintendo. And this will be the first time since Nintendo Switch came out that we, ha we are in this type of drought. And there's always that speculation out there that this is the calm before the storm or the drop before the rain. And what's coming up next is the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal. Believe me, guys, that's that's what I want more than anything. If Nintendo is kind of leading us towards that and not giving us anything for the second half because they are getting ready to reveal that Nintendo Switch 2 along with the newer games, then that will be the best scenario ever right the next scenario of course yes nintendo gives us a nintendo direct and they finish off you know the, the the second part of the year by this time last year and the year prior to that for last year we've we've already known what the year looks like at this time and period right by now we should have already known 
what games out for July, for August, September, and October, and November. Nintendo is, is very good at giving us the entire year by the month of February. They always use the September Nintendo Direct to give us like the beginning of the next year. And then by the February Direct, they give us the rest of the year, right? And then of course, there are some games that are shadow drop here and there along the way in future presentations. But by this time, in prior years, we would have known everything, at least have an idea of what the big game of the year would be. And Nintendo would actually be on that promotional train. That last year, it was, uh, I think it was uh, Tears of the Kingdom in May, right? But then we had another game. We had two games in, in the month of October, which was Mario Wonder and and Detective Pikachu. They're, they're, those were both big games for Nintendo. Last year was actually a pretty good year when you try to compare last year with this year. And so with that, we are hoping that Nintendo does pick up soon. We are in a little bit of a news drought, my friends. There is a news drought going on when it comes to actual news in the world of Nintendo. And this is the first time this happens when it comes to Nintendo Switch. I know the, there has been drafts before with other consoles, but with Switch, it's the first time it happens. So with that, I, I I believe that if we were to get anything, it should it should it should we should see an announcement pretty soon. We should see something tomorrow or the day after for an indie world, and maybe next week for a direct, or maybe Nintendo will actually push the direct for the end for towards the end of this month. If we were get this to get something now, if we don't get anything at all, then I would say yeah, the next Nintendo Direct will probably be in the summer, or we will just see Nintendo Switch too because there's no other explanation to where we are now, right? There's just a lot that Nintendo has not told us yet and confirmed. We know that there's been leaks regarding Nintendo Switch 2 and, 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 and of course, how many consoles we're getting from the beginning, I think around 10 million or more at launch time. And, and so all we have is some, some leaks here and there and some words from some rumors uh, provided by some uh, leakers out there. But that's basically all we have for now. My friends, I want to know what you guys think about the year so far. I want to know, are you happy with what Nintendo has given us right now? I want to do a pulse check in this video and, and see where you guys stand, right? What do you want Nintendo to do for the rest of the year that would actually, let's say, make or break this year? Let's go ahead and answer that question. What would make the year for you and what will break the year for you uh i asked a question in the last podcast and we got really good answers but now i want to hear from you let me know down below in the comments and i will answer you i will heart your comment and continue this conversation down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one before i let you go never give up journey on peace